Hello yeah, everybody, welcome back to the Wired Gaming HD channel. It's been a fat minute since I've uploaded on here, but I just started uh, playing games again, and so uh, I thought I'd make this uh, video, because I feel like I um, discovered something pretty crazy. So if you're like me and have people or your friends playing on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, and you are playing on PC with the implementation of you know crossplay becoming more and more available, you may run into the issue of how the hell do you talk to your friends without using the game chat? You know, for instance, the new Warzone that just came out. The game chat's not terrible, but it's certainly not the, the best. And we were having a lot of issues, so I figured, what the hell? So I started scouring the internet trying to figure out if it's possible to join a PlayStation party while on PC. And the only method I found was using the SharePlay app, but that requires you to have another PS4 or another PlayStation device to connect to, which not everybody has the availability to. I have another PS4, but um, my wife plays on it, so I didn't, you know, I'm not, I don't want to use a, a console just for party chat. That's that's silly. So I got to rack my brain and I found a solution. So without further ado, I will get started. So you're going to want to go ahead to Google and download LD Player. I will put this link in the video description if you don't want to look it up yourself. Uh, this is essentially an Android emulator. Um, I use, I tried BlueStacks, which is another popular emulator. It did not work for, for what I'm trying to do for some reason. But uh, I did get this to work. So I'm going to guide you through the old process here okay we're done with that you're just gonna want to click install reject all this other crap that they try to put on your crap all right so the install finished here i'm gonna go ahead and click start and it should boot right up now if you haven't used an android emulator on your pc before it essentially just mimics an android phone onto your windows you can see here it's you know acting like i got wi-fi and i'm fully charged and stuff like that so this actually works really well. The only issue is, I should have mentioned this earlier, I did notice I probably lost about 10 to 15 frames in Warzone while I had this open. And that's probably because it kind of eats your um kind of eats your hardware if you know you're not careful. It's already taken, you know, these. I tried to move these down like to all the way, the bare minimum. But then, for whatever reason, it didn't work. So you could fundle around with this and maybe it'll work. I did go ahead and do this. Maybe save, you know, a little bit of juice. And then you're going to save settings and it's going to ask you to restart it. Alrighty, so after you restart, you're going to want to go to System Apps. And you're going to want to go to the Play Store. It's going to make you sign in to, uh, I don't know, whatever Google account you use. I want to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so once you're in, it's going to ask you all this crap. I just skip it because that's not really what we're here for. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to mess with that because I'm literally just using this for PlayStation Party Chat. So then you're going to go in here and you're going to search PlayStation. And it's going to come up with the app here. And you're going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so once it's installed, go ahead and click open. I'm trying to make this as short but also detailed as possible because I know the painstaking experience of trying to find answers online. And, you know, you end up with like a 30-minute YouTube video that you got to clip around. But I'm trying to avoid that. I'm also going to put timestamps uh, down there at the bar. So if you don't care about all this crap, uh, you can skip to where you need to. All right, I'm going to go and open that up. Makes an obnoxiously loud sound. All right, and then you're going to need to sign into your PlayStation account. Okay, so once you're signed into your PlayStation account, it's going to take you through the, the tutorial, which isn't really necessary for what we're trying to do, blah, blah, blah. Next, next, next. Next. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now you're going to be presented with this screen here. Uh, this Android emulator in particular is mimicking a tablet. That's why this stuff is on the side. But if your emulator is emulating a smartphone, it'll probably be the other way around. But it should still be the same process. Okay, so you're going to go up to this message icon. And then you're going to go to the party. I'm going to go ahead and make a closed party just to show you guys that it works. I'm going to invite my wife's account. Then it's going to ask you this. You're going to go ahead and allow. Okay, so the party has started. Now I'm going to go on the PlayStation 4 and join the party. Okay, you can see I am now in on the other party. And you can see here, this is showing us that my audio is going through my PC, through the Android emulator, and into the PlayStation app. And it is coming out onto the PS4 side, which is great. That's exactly what we want. You can also hear the people from the PS4. Of course, they'll come through here. 
Now, the only issue I found is if you have your Windows settings on max, even, sometimes their audio can be a little low. All you got to do is right-click, and you can turn their volume all the way up or do whatever you need to do with that. And after that, you're pretty much set. You can also right-click on your own if you need to mute your own microphone for any reason. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you that it does work while you're playing games. Alrighty, now you can see I'm in the Warzone 2 uh, little lobby, you know, thing. And the game chat still works, of course, but if you Alt-Tab, you will find your uh, the LD player. And you can see I'm still talking through there. So this is how you do it. It's really silly that you got to go through all this. I really wish... PlayStation would just hurry up and get Discord or put the PlayStation app on PC natively. That would be joyous, but that has yet to happen. So until then, I found this fix to work a little bit. And as I mentioned, it does mess with your frames a little bit. It did for me anyway. Um, you could try tinkering with the settings. I don't know if it's going to work. It did not work for me. Also, there's the audio tab here. If you're having issues with the microphone and speaker, you can go and go through here and select what you need to select. Alrighty, that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys. It sure as hell helped me. I'm glad I figured this out. It saves a lot of time and hassle having to mess with game chat all the time. You don't have to, you know, stop, like stop talking when you're loading into the screens and stuff because that's no fun. So now, as long as you have this open, um, you're good. And you can, of course, minimize it and you'll still be you'll still be talking and hear people. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe.